Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to our My Player Career Mode. Episode 3 for you all today. Thank you so much for all of your incredible support And in episode 1. I'm recording this after that first video has gone live. And yeah, the support on that is insane. So thank you so much for that. As always, I hope you're doing fantastic, having an awesome day. And if you missed episode 2, well, let's just say something huge happened. And I probably should start the episode off by discussing that because, as you're about to see, if you did miss that video, of course you know what happened. If you have seen it, we are already into April and there's already been 30 Premier League matches played. That's because we picked up a seven-month injury in our first match of the season against Chelsea. And I echo what I said yesterday. Thank you for sticking with me whilst we had to sim those matches. But we're back today. And we are back in the starting 11, ready to play some matches. We've got Wolves up first at Selhurst Park. And if I do a bit of training to make sure we're in the starting 11, we'll be good to go for that game. And as I say that, level 10, my friends. So let's go ahead and put these skill points into our skill tree. In terms of the pace, we are already maxed out for pace, apart from the one there for sprint speed. Now we are fully maxed out. And I think the rest of the four points we will put into our crossing stats because I did set up Ayu last game against Villa with a cross. So we'll be looking to do that again today. We played two matches after that Chelsea game. One was a 4-1 defeat to uh, City in which we came on with about 10 minutes to go. And then the second one was the game against Villa where we came on. The score was 0-0 and it finished 2-1 to us. So we managed to pick up the victory there, having a say in the game with an assist. And then with a penalty being given to us, which was scored by Ayu. And I've only got two more things to buy in the shopping area. One of which is a donate money to animal shelters. So we'll do that right now. And I think I can get the other one as well. And that will be everything completed within the shopping area, which I'm hoping there'll be some new ones next season then, if that's the case. Because if not, I've already completed this in season one. But enough talking. It's time to play our first game of the episode. Wolves at Selhurst Park. I wanted to show you the lineups in game, but... Silly old me decided once again to skip it. I apologise. Um, I will get used to not skipping it. It's when it gives you the match objective first and then I just instantly choose one and then skip through and that's why I forget to um, to watch the lineups pop up on screen. But still, we are into our first full start since that Chelsea game. And also to let you know, I have switched off handballs apart from free kicks. So there'll be no penalties given for handballs in today's episode. Only for things outside the box, are you? Spreads the play out to this right-hand side. Cutting back in on that left-hand side. Can we get the shot away? We can! And you know what? Wasn't a bad effort. Jose Sarr forced into an early save here. I'm going to try and whip it and see if I can get some curl on it into that penalty area, which Anton's underneath the first header. Anderson has got myself back out on this left-hand side. Another chance to put a delivery in. It goes in the box again! There's Ayu! There's Palace's goal! And it was important that I put those points into crossing because it mattered there. Get in! And that is exactly the start we would be hoping for. Ball into the box saying, get on the end of this. Are you? It's unbelievable centre forward play. It's just the heart and desire as he's got to get past two players there to get there first. And he does just that. So we've honestly not seen much in the way of attacking threat from the away side thus far. It's been Palace with most of the play in. Wolves is half, but speaking of, here they come then. Raul Jimenez, dispossessed by Gay, but he's then dispossessed again by Jimenez. Now Neto, Johnstone saves. First chance of the game for Wolves. Mateus Nunez, 10 minutes to go until half time. If a goal comes now for Wolves, that changes the dynamics a little bit of how this first half has gone. But now we are back on the ball. 1-2 with Ayu, giving me it back, but I'm not away from eight Nori just yet. As now Schlup lays the ball into my path. And we have got away from a couple of challenges. Going for the strike. And Jose Sarr again provides the save. You might remember last year when we were at Wolves, he was spectacular in goal. And he's proving that again here today. Denying me for a second time. And I actually think the two shots I've had have actually been decent efforts at goal. So, yeah, two good saves. Milivojevic's corner into the box. Nunes away. This is how we scored Palace's opener before, though. A ball back in. From the first corner being cleared. We can't find anyone in a Palace shirt that time around though. As Anderson, Schlup, through the legs of Semedo. But straight to Neves. 
And there is just a single minute added on. Decore trying to back heel Anderson position expertly in order to make sure it doesn't get through. And Palace on the breakaway, but that is half time. It is 1 0 as things stand. Ayu's goal, the difference after 10 minutes. Second half underway here. Ayu's ball finding Schlup. It's a fantastic pass. Not sure why he's played it back to me though. Schlup was in, and then at that point in time, I think he should have gone for goal. I was trying to lift it over Jose Sarr and get something, but he didn't go to ground. He stayed on his feet, and that's why the chip didn't work. Corner ball, though, in the end for Palace as we look to keep the pressure on. Very, very strong start to this second half from us. Milivojevic's delivery away by Nunez. It comes here for me. He controls decent, as I will play it back out to Milivojevic here. He gives me the ball back, and you can see that Wolves still having to remain defending. Hughes! Got to be! It is! Palace have their second. Will Hughes curling the ball into that far corner past Jose Sarr. And the way the game's gone, Palace have deserved that goal. And once again, Wolves unable to defend the ball after the initial corner. They deal with the corner, but then Palace keep the ball alive. And Wolves aren't able to stop them scoring from it. MacArthur's header forwards. Only finding Nunez. Neto. Neves. This is better from Wolves as Raul Jimenez takes over. Trying to find a shot and he will get it away. And Johnston claws it out. MacArthur's ball down the line. I will give chase to this. I'm looking towards Ayu, who is now making his way into the penalty area. Cutting it back on that left side and still got it here. And now off to Hughes. Hughes to Ito. Ito makes sure. Palace have three. And we are at the heart of all things good from Palace. Sensational stuff on our first start again. And as we celebrate with the lads, look at the Palace fans. They're loving it. They're loving it. And this is why I want to stay. I don't know why I'm on the transfer list. Get me off it. Get me off the transfer list. I shouldn't be on it. Ito scores. I think that's his 10th of the season now for him. Since signing. Fantastic signing for Palace, really. After losing Zaha, Eze, Elise, Eduard, Mateta, all of these quality players, we have at least brought in Ito, but we still need to strengthen in the summer window again. And again, it's a fault of Wolves. They give away the ball straight away and they can't handle us down this right-hand side. Eight Nori has got back up here and still I've got away with the ball. And across to Ayu! What is going on defensively from Wolves? They're having a shocker down this right-hand side, but we are running the show. And Ayu gets another goal for himself then. And as I said, I don't know what's going on. They're just not picking me up whatsoever. I'm having freedom down the right. And that'll be full time, my friends. What a return on our first full start in a Palace shirt. No goal, please. Jimenez, yeah, not sure what he's trying there. Full time! Wolves nil, Palace four. Maybe get to level 12 here, or sorry, level 11, and we have done that with three more skill points now to add. I'm going to keep those for now, though, and move forwards as we travel. There's an offer for us from Munch and Gladbach. We've had a few offers, but I've just not been showing you them because we've got quite a number of them coming through. And I want to remain at Palace for now as we travel to Ellen Road to take on Leeds. There's another offer, this time from Braga. As I said, we're getting loads. Off to Ellen Road we go then, and here is the Leeds United lineup and the Palace lineup. But I do plan to show you them in game if I just don't forget to do it. Rodrigo slipping the ball through as John Stone forced into an early save. Are you towards my feet? Off towards MacArthur. He can now play it back inside to myself as I try to shift it onto the left side. In quickly was the challenge though, and the game at the minute. It's just a little bit sloppy because of the intensity it's been played at. We just need someone to get on the ball and just calm things down a little bit and have a prolonged period of pressure. Here is Rodrigo for Leeds, though. And John Stone has to make the save. What's really interesting so far as well is seeing exactly how as soon as Leeds lose this ball, they're on the press. And speaking of wind, oh, ho, ho. that was like the wind. They were quick leads at breaking us down. And it's a thunderous finish. See what I did there? Wind, weather, thunder. Ah, you see what you did. Anyway, forget about that for the moment. Palace. Well, we might have been controlling the game, but we haven't had many way in the way of a chance. And Leeds have made us pay for that. What a goal that is by Wind. First time strike. Ellen Road bouncing. Palace with it all to do. Second goal for Brighton against Villa as they're 2-0 up now. Rodrigo to Wind. He's got so much space. And how is it not 2-0? 
How is it not 2-0? Well, John Stone's the reason it's not 2-0. Because it should have been. Harrison, short corner from Leeds. Back towards Somerville. Given away, though. And there'll not be enough time, I don't think, for Palace to look for a breakaway before the uh, end of the first half. And it is half-time. 1-0 Leeds. You could say that Wind has blown his opponents away in that first half. Yeah, I'll, I'll stop with the weather puns now, I guess. Wind's gone for goal again. Oh, ha -ha, he's got another. And this one's just as good. Oh, can I just say, by the way, I said I'd stop with the weather puns, but I've got another one for you. Wind's bringing Palace down to earth. Oh, it's, a, it's an element pun. Oh, I'm just trying to laugh about it, really, because if I don't laugh, well, it's disastrous, really, from Palace today. And as I say, as much as the joke is there that Wind's bringing us down to earth, he really has. No, no, not Wind. He's found Somerville. Somerville! Oh, nearly. Nearly three for Leeds. And that just shows you the football they're playing at the moment. Quality. Somerville's actually just gone off for Triore. And why am I on the left-hand side now? Have I been switched to left wing? Think so. Look at that for a header, by the way. We've had zero shots on target. Leeds have had eight. We haven't even created anything yet. That is not good. As we're on this left-hand side now, we need to find something. MacArthur, Ayu, is this the moment? Ayu has got the ball through to me. We've gone for goal. It's our first in a Palace shirt. And it is a beauty. Game on. Come on. And we'll get a better look at it here. I use flick on. There's nobody to aim at. So it's a case of let's have a look and see if we can find that far corner. And we do it. Meslier beaten. Can we do the comeback? First shot on target. First goal. And our first in a Palace shirt. Rodrigo forward to win. Gay in quickly though with a challenge. Fantastic defending. Now Ito. Ayu combine. Ayu backwards towards Hughes. Hughes plays it to me. And now again, our Palace in for a chance. The ball towards Ito! Palace have done it! I said the win brought us back down to earth. Well, Leeds have come crashing down to earth. It's Palace 2, Leeds 2. From 2-0 two down to 2-2. Two -two. And we make the goal. We scored one, made one. Furpo not picking up Ito on this right-hand side. I honestly was not having a good time of things against Junior Furpo in the first half. So it's fantastic man management from Patrick Vieira to recognise that. Switches out to the left. And since doing that, a goal and an assist. Leeds will be kicking themselves. They've let this slip here as Ito, look at him go down this right-hand side. I mean, I am at the back post if he can find me. He goes back towards Ayu. Ayu towards Klein. Klein to Hughes. Hughes has managed to get the ball through. The finish has got to be there. It's not to put it wide. How have I missed? What a glorious chance. I can only apologise to all of you lovely people watching. I should have given Palace the lead there. Wow. The problem is, is that I've set up one goal today and scored one. But all I'll be thinking about now is that miss that could have won us the game. Of course, if we get a chance and do take it now, though, to win it, I will be forgetting about that. But that ball through doesn't reach me. From 2-0 down to 2-2, two, two, we'd have taken that given the circumstances, but with that glorious chance to win the game. Wow. How did I miss it? 2-2 two, two, the final score, though. Point shared. First man of the match performance from us as well. It's our first award of the series. And look at that action shot right there. It may have taken DJ Wood a little while to really make his mark at the club, but today felt like a reward for all of the hard work as he scored a goal to cap his man of the match performance, left the pitch at full time with the sound of the crowd chanting his name, ringing in his ears. The supporters were unbelievable, he admitted afterwards, I love this club too, so they know how much this means to me. A pretty emotional day, apparently. Um, yeah, I don't remember saying that, but apparently I did. Next up, we welcome Brighton to Selhurst Park with the two lineups on your screen right there. One of the bonuses about showing you the lineups this way is that you can see the bench as well. When I show you it before we come into the match, you can't see the bench. So it popped up very briefly for you there, the Palace lineup, and now we're seeing the Brighton one. Someone to keep your eye on in this side. Well, Anaki Williams. They signed him from Bilbao, and that is their starting 11. It's Palace at home, and it'll be Palace to get the game underway. 
much. Lovely ball through. Ondav gone back to Weisman. And now Williams now back into the middle. And a great save. Because Brighton, I thought they wasted the chance when that ball went backwards. But they still created something. Really not liking the fact that we've given the ball away three times in the space of about two minutes. And that's why we're punished. Brighton have taken the lead. It just literally came straight from Sam Johnston. Kicked the ball forwards. Brighton won the header. That's happened like three times in the last two minutes now. And that is why we're made to pay. No offside flag. You can see we're appealing for it. Didn't come. Weisman makes full advantage of the finish. 1-0 Brighton. And the way the game started, that's, that's been coming. Hughes forward to Ayu. Ayu to Schlupp. Schlupp has Ayu again to his left side. Ayu finding the feet of Mitchell. Mitchell, we're in the box. Can he find the cross? He doesn't, but it is a corner for Palace. And finally, something maybe for the Palace fans to shout about and get behind the team here because there's not been much in this first half. Ball into the box from the corner. Webster away. Out towards Hughes. This is how he scored against Wolves in game one. The ball goes back in. Ayu looking again. This time Webster is there again for Brighton. We need to keep the pressure on though. Don't let Brighton get this ball back out and into our half. There's Hughes. Off to Schlupp. Schlupp's control to Ayu. Sanchez. Has he given the chance? Oh, ho, ho, ho. I can't believe what I've just seen. It was so close to going in. The save. The ball goes over him. It looks like it's going to cross the line. Last ditch defending. Cleared back onto Sanchez. Then over the bar. Mwepu, Brighton, start of the second half. Mwepu with a thunderbolt for Brighton. Palace, what are we doing? What are we doing? Just don't close him down. And if we had any chance of a fight back in the second half from judging how poor we were in the first, well, yeah, we need to just think about that Leeds game because when Leeds went 2-0 up, we were... Are we yet to have a shot on target? So we have to think that the chances will come. But we've not seen anything from Palace to suggest that's going to be the case. If we manage to pull this back again from 2-0 down, it seems like we need to concede two goals before we wake up and actually play football. Are you? Mayer, it's 2-1. Nah, we're not going to do this again, surely. It, is that our first shot on target again as well? I think that actually might be our first shot on target again. Maybe not, though. Maybe I, I just can't remember what we had. But Palace fans are back in voice. Getting behind that behind their team because we still have time in this one like we did in the Leeds game. Ayu, Meyer, lovely first touch, second one to finish. That pass through is blocked by Milivojevic. Fantastic interception. Now Ayu, it's just really myself and him in the attacking sense here. But Ayu has played a brilliant ball through. No way. No way. Show me that offside. Show me. You better show me because if you don't show me game, I'm going to be annoyed. I still am annoyed. Nah, show me this replay. Show me it. If not, I'm going into the instant replay. Because I thought I held my run there. Okay. I mean, it is minor. It's a toe and maybe a head. At most. But that, for me, is too close to call. Should have let me have that. That's not fair at all. Well, it is fair because it's in the rules. But, yeah, you know what I'm saying. And we are substituted here as Klein replaces us. Can we get a result? Hughes finding the feet of Pereira. Pereira back to Hughes. Seven minutes remain. Are you on the turn? Foul ref. Thank you very much. Free kick. Dangerous position. Why is it Pereira, though, who's taking this? Maybe he has, like, really good free kick stats, and I just don't know. You can see the Palace fans. They're thinking this has got to be the chance. Oh, pressure on this man to find the equaliser. He looks pretty focused, Pereira. He's put the ball down. He's got himself into position. The wall is set up for Brighton. Will we see the spectacular here? Sanchez. I mean, he's a little bit off his line. Ito's also got involved in this. They play an interesting tactic here. Palace going for the shot rather than the shot from the free kick. They lay the ball off. Nothing comes of it. Still, though, Palace on the ball. Caterino run here from Mayer, the goal scorer for Palace. Trying to flick the ball back the way of Jordan Ayu. Ito trying to win that ball. Does so. Brilliant work. Hughes. Ayu blocked by Dunk. Brighton standing firm in the final few minutes. Hughes, Mayer again, scored one today. Shot blocked by Mwepu, whose goal at the moment is the difference. Corner ball to Palace. Selhurst Park, it's now or never to pick up a point.
Three additional minutes. Johnstone's up for the corner. Pereira delivers. Webster underneath the first header. Johnstone so far out of his goal. If we don't win this, this is dangerous. Cross now. Forward to Williams. Now on Dove. Williams. Will he try it? Will he go for it? He hasn't done. He's remaining composed. He's seeing out the game with the ball forward to Undav. Undav off to Thompson! Brighton 3, Palace 1. And Aki Williams could have tried the audacious with Johnston out of his goal. Instead played smart, played to Undav. Undav to Thompson. Thompson finishes the game off. And as soon as Pereira kicks the game back underway, there is the full-time whistle. 3-1 defeat here to Brighton. So today, a 4-0 victory over Wolves. A 2-2 draw after being 2-0 down against Leeds. We fell 2-0 down here again. Got to go back through Mayer. But in the end, Brighton just too much for us. Frustration in the Palace dressing room. Understandably so. 800 XP picked up for us. And 0 out of 3 objectives complete. Not ideal at all. Um, but yeah... I think that is going to be where we end today's episode, my friends. A massive thank you, as always, for watching. Once again, 500 likes to get yourself another episode tomorrow, where we will pick up in just a moment. I'll show you the games we will have. Where do I go for the calendar again? There we go, seasons. So, yeah, 500 likes for the next episode tomorrow, and we will take on Brentford at home before Chelsea away at Stamford Bridge in our return in the fixture, or the reverse fixture that we got injured in at Selhurst Park. And then it'll be Manchester United. As I said in the previous episode, I do want to get into the habit of showing you our personality points. We are on 4,435 right now. So we have 5,000 away, 5,600 away from unlocking the plus three attribute boosts. And here's where our points are distributed. Mostly in the Maverick, but we've got very close in Heartbeat and Virtuoso, 28 and 27% respectively. In terms of player growth, free skill points available, which we will get more in the next episode because we are close to level 12. And with these three skill points, I am going to put them, I think, into finishing because that chance against Leeds springs to mind and I can't be missing opportunities like that. So as for the standings before we go today, here they are. Bournemouth, Brentford and Forest make up the bottom three. Fulham and Leeds just above the relegation zone. Southampton two. And then there's a bit of a gap to Wolves, who have 35 points. We are on 38 with five Premier League games to go. And as you can see, as I scroll up, that is how the rest of the table is looking. Manchester United on track, maybe, for their first Premier League title for some time, unless Liverpool can have something to say about it. I'm not going to show you the Champions League and Europa League and all that stuff yet. We'll wait until we see who's won that. But one thing I do want to look at is the player stats for the Premier League. So here they are. Top scorer, Hyung min Son, 23 and 33. Haaland as well with 20 and 32. Mares up there. Coutinho up there as well. That's really good to see uh, Zaha in there for West Ham United in terms of assists. That is the list of players. Um, I do want to try and find out where our players have gone. You know, the ones that left us. So Zaha, I know, is at West Ham. So too is Elise. But I'm not sure where Eduard has gone. We know that Eze has gone to Bilbao. And also that Mateta has gone to Mainz. So it's just Eduard at the moment. I'm not sure who he has joined. So I will try and find that out for you. But yeah, until next time, stay safe, everyone. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Thank you all so much for your incredible support so far. If we can keep it up, that would be amazing. And thank you all so much as well for tuning into this video. Look after each other. 500 likes. I'll see you back here tomorrow for another episode. Until then, adios.